In this video, I'm going to explain for loops in VBA. The for loop is one of the most effective methods of controlling the flow through your code. It basically repeats a number of statements for a specified number of times, and you must specify the counter. So the for loop for start of the counter to for end of the counter, then you have your lines of code, and then you have a next. The counter must be numeric. Using A to G will not work. Although um, the initial setting of the counter ideally is one and repeating until it reaches five, ideal is the ideal situation. Using a for loop is many times you're trying to advance through the page either by row or by column. So let me demonstrate the row. So we're going to the developer tab. We're going to click on Visual Basic. And then what we're going to do is we're going to insert and module. To start our module, we're going to enter in sub um, bold each opening bracket, closing bracket. And when you press enter, you will get an end sub. Now we're going to define our values. So we're going to have R for row and C for column, and we're going to define both of them as long integers. And so we're going to enter them. Okay, so now if we look at our sheet, we would like to start on the second row, and we would like to start on the F column, which is number six. So what we're going to do is we're going to define our rows as two and our, our columns as six. So we're going to enter. Okay. So now let's start by defining our loop. For R equals 2 to R, you don't have to put the R, to 11. And then automatically, I always put in the next after this so that I don't forget it. So next. Now I'm going to have another uh, for loop in here. So I'm going to put next R so we don't get confused. Okay. And so now what is go in between the four and the next, and we're going to press tab to make it easier to read. Now let's select the first cell. We're using the sheet one conven naming convention, and we're going to go um, cells because we're specifying a cell in the sheet. And we're going to go opening bracket, and it goes by rows and by column. So what we're going to do is we're going to say whatever row that it's on, and now we're going to specify the B, the second column, which is B, and then we're going to go select. So now um, we have selected that cell, so now what we're able to do is we're going to go active cell, dot font dot bold equals true and now it's going to go on to the next R so let's F8 through this and watch it work so we're going to go up to the top and we're going to press F8 on our keyboard and we're going to go now it's selecting the cells and it's going for our for loop. And now if you specify, if you go over the R in your code with it highlighted there, you can tell which one it's on. So F8 again, and now you can see that it has selected the row two. So we're gonna go there, and now it's, it's gonna make it bold. Okay, and then it's gone on to the next one. And so you go, you go again on the R, and you can see that it's going to R3. 
So let's um, press F5 to continue the code. And now you can see that all of the all of the names have been bolded. So now I'm going to select these values and go to the home tab and unbold them. And now we're going to add a, C, a column a column for loop in our code. So now you can see that I've entered um, a C, for C, column 6 to 10. So that's uh, from here to there. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm selecting the cell and I'm specifying the row. The row is 2, so the row goes first. And then whatever the column is at that current certain time, then you select the cell and then in the next line you make the font bold equals true and then you go on to the next C. So let's run this this whole thing and basically all of our values will become bold because of our our for loop that we've created here. And there you go, they're all bold. So that's a simple explanation of the for loop in VBA. Please subscribe.